Hey guys, I'm Jo. I'm Rebecca. And today we are redoing Rebecca's master bedroom. We sure are. You know, we moved into this house a year ago, and for the last year I have felt that it has lacked some luster and some color, and we decided to tackle this project partnering with Home Depot and PPG Paints. And we both love color. So we went right to Home Depot, we picked out all the paints we needed, and got all of our PPG paint mixed. So I bought this bedding that I loved a few years ago, and I haven't been able to really incorporate it into the entire space. So we went to Home Depot, we grabbed all the samples, and we decided on a color palette. So the color palette, we pulled all the colors out of her actual pillowcase. That's the best way to color match, is find something that you love and match your paint swatches to it, instead of trying to do it the opposite, because you're always going to be like a little, a little bit, bit off. off. So for this wall, we went with an eggshell finish. We wanted pretty much no sheen, and we knew flat wasn't the way to go. Because it gets a little bit too chalky. It gets too chalky. You still want to be able to wipe it down a little bit if you can. And the nice thing about a lower sheen, it hides more imperfections in your finished surface. So here in Arizona, we have these wonderful things called texture walls, <laughs> and we don't want to draw too much attention to that texture. Yeah. So we wanted to make sure that we use the lowest sheen, of pos lowest sheen possible while still having the cleanability and performance that we need. Right. So when you're painting a wall, the first thing you're going to grab are paint rollers and paint brushes, but not this time. We decided to go completely unconventional and grab a few of the following things. So when we were at Home Depot, we went around and we were looking for all different types of brushes and textures and things that we could use in the paint. I feel like we were mostly in the cleaning section because we got some dusters, some spider web removers, mi microfiber cloths, all kinds of weird brushes and things. Rub brushes. let's see about a dragging effect. I mean, they all kind of have this like dry drag effect, but that's kind of, it's kind of really cool. And I think a lot of it has to do with how far apart the fibers are and how thick the fibers are. So you can get this like, you know, dotted stippling effect. Times the master bedroom is one of the most neglected rooms in the whole house. I'd have to agree. And they say that's where the magic happens, right? So the magic. I think it's probably an important one to focus on. So you want to wake up in a beautiful space, and so I mean, you start and end your day in this beautiful space. I think it's definitely a room you should think about focusing on if you haven't yet. I knew that I wanted to infuse color because we are for the, the love, love of color. color. So this was the perfect opportunity for us to get started, infuse some color and partner with Home Depot, so we're excited. Are you excited? We're excited. Let's do this! Okay guys, we're back from the studio and we're coming to you from Rebecca's master bedroom. Ooh, you guys are getting all the dirty secrets today! <laughs> so we're gonna start painting the wall, so watch and see what we do because we're not even sure what we're gonna do yet. Yeah, we're not sure. This is like throwing caution to the wind. White. First we started with the regular pink. Yeah, we started with this pink and then we added white into the pan or the paint tray and now we're just kind of moving it around. So you can kind of see how it goes from. Oh, it looks so pretty. Right now there's a big trend in this abstract art and so we wanted to take that idea of an abstract painting and put it right, right onto the wall. <laughs> One of the first things we noticed about PPG Diamond interior paint was that it had zero odor when we were painting. It was like virtually odorless. It's a zero VOC paint. Well, that makes all the sense then. So I feel like the workability of this paint was incredible. It was smooth. It mixed really well with all the different things we were mixing into yeah, it. Yeah, and the pigment of it was spot on. We just started making different blocks of color on the wall. And as sections came together, we needed to find a way to make all of them blend. So in addition to feathering things out, we took a spray bottle filled with water and sprayed it right onto the wall, creating this dripping effect, allowing one paint to drip into the other. I 
I basically just took white paint on my fingertips and kind of did this to get that effect. So just kind of show them the motion. Like this, like this, like this, and like this, but like quick, short strokes. You can see all the drips and all the different effects from the layering of the paint. To get this texture right here, I took this guy and I just kind of beat it against the wall <laughs> like that. There were still a few finishing touches that we had to add to the room. Now we've already hung the mirror and we're working on hanging the sconces on either side of the bed. The nice thing about the sconces is that they're not hardwired and they were plug-ins. So once those were hung, we knew it was time to add the drapes, which were going to ground the entire space. Okay, we're gonna add water, we're gonna use this brush, how's it gonna look? We don't care, we're gonna paint over it if it looks bad. Right, and we thought, you know, we started mapping out a plan and then we quickly realized that like, the, the more we mixed and the more we just played yeah. with it, the better it was turning out. Typically I rinse rollers and brushes in between colors, but this time we were just kind of mixing we're it all together. And and mixing we were rolling it. with it. <laughs> I'll be here all week. So we really wanted to ground the whole room with a darker color, so we decided to pop in the dark teal because that really grounded all of the pink because there's so much pink so going much on. Pink. But we also added a little mustard, some texture. Yeah, lots of texture. And the one thing, we were gonna use this navy, like a teal navy color in the paint palette, but we decided to take it out. It was almost infusing too much color in the wall and we decided to bring it back in with the bedding and accessories. Okay guys, thanks for joining in and we're gonna see you on Sunday. Sunday. See you then. Bye. Like, subscribe. Ring that bell! <laughs> mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs>